Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to show you how you can create custom environment regions uh, just to make air planning that much trickier than it needs to be. So the first thing I like to do whenever I'm working with custom environment regions is I always like to go up to the editor and actually set the weather to something other than the default. This is a combination of my sanity as well as uh, making sure it's working. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the average temperature, we'll pretend it's a little bit cooler here, wind sea state will make it a little windy, and we'll see we've got kind of everybody's uh, favorite form of clouds here. Go ahead and uh, slap it right there. That looks pretty good. I like that. I'm working with that. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to create an area that we want to go ahead and convert. So let's see here. I'm looking at the weather forecast today, and it looks like uh, there's a little nastiness up north of us. Cool. So I'm going to go ahead and create myself an area. I'll control right click. Go ahead and define myself an area. And we'll go ahead and say this part of New England's uh, getting some weather right now. So go ahead and drag a big old box kind of around it like that. Now what I'm going to do is go up to Missions and Ref Points, bop the Reference Points Manager, click on Custom Environment Zones, give it a name. Um, Icky weather up north. <laughs> go ahead and give it a little color. Distinct. Well, we have to create it first before we can give it a color. Go ahead and cr create new. It's going to go ahead and select it. I like to pick on it. I'm going to go hit that button real fast and make sure it looks right. Uh, that looks pretty good, but of course there's no waypoints on it. So let's go grab our waypoints we created. Toss them in the pile. Hey, look at that. So now we have ourselves this big region, which is going to be all sorts of icky weather. So what I'm going to do is select it. I'm going to click on Edit Says Data. So the easiest way to use this is I like to concentrate on all of these four switches that we have right here. There's some fun stuff for thermal layers and CZs and all that. I'm not going to play with that today. So what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to say the weather's, a, let's call it a little bit colder, just a little bit. Uh, let's say that there's a little bit of, you know, why not some snow or something. We'll say the sky's... Um, say it's pretty thick pretty thick we'll go kind of on that one we'll say it's also a little windy so now what you're going to notice is i'm going to go ahead and print, close this i'm going to press the save option is our weather is now different so if i zoom in on this lip you can see it very distinctive so as you can see we have light high clouds 20 23 10 degrees celsius wind c2 watch this Boing. Oh boy, that weather is way worse up north. You can see that the time of day hasn't changed, but you can see clearly that the weather is now solid middle clouds. We have a little bit of light rain, which of course would be snow, and our wind sea state is now too. Now what's so cool about this is you can create as many of these weather zones as you want to create. So, and this is pretty fun stuff. Now, of course, after you've uh, took the time to build all your really, really complicated little modes in here, there's nothing stopping you from coming in here as a game designer, say a mission designer, I should say, and go ahead and freezing all these suckers so people can't mess with it. Uh, one of the things I recommend doing is building these CEZs on the layer that is like neutral so that the player can't come and say, and say, oh, would it be inconvenient if there's a bunch of snow right over Maine? Ha ha ha. You don't want them to do something like that. You just want to be able to customize it the way that you need to customize it. So you can see this is a super useful tool. Uh, of course, if we were over here in, uh, this is the 1990s, we could basically draw an overcast right around here and uh, have fun trying to find tanks with laser guided bombs. Other than that, enjoy.